This year, the holidays are looking a bit different for all of us. So to add a little bit of holiday cheer, we have a local lifestyle expert, Christina Thomas, with a new twist on a classic holiday recipe. Welcome, Christina. So how are you feeling at the end of, you know, what's been kind of a topsy-turvy year going into the holiday season? Well, thank you so much for having me. Uh, definitely this year, the holidays are looking a little different for all of us, but it doesn't mean they have to be any less delicious. So I wanna share with you my recipe for my berries and cream holiday trifle. And uh, as you can see here, I have two different sizes. So one, if you have a larger gathering or an individual portion, if you have a smaller group, which this year, it seems like most of us are gonna have smaller gatherings uh, and, uh, you know, we still want to make them as pretty and delicious as festive as we can. So what better than a dessert to do that? Yes, yes, definitely. I wish I could reach through the camera because that <laughs> looks amazing. So uh, let's begin. How do we make that awesome looking dish? I was excited to partner with my hometown dairy, T.G. Lee and Dairy Farmers of America to bring you this dessert today. And basically the number one first thing that you want to do when you're making box cake mixes is switch out the water for milk. It's going to give you that creaminess, that richness. It's gonna taste more homemade. So swap out water for milk, same quantity as what the box says. So here I am using TG Lee 2% milk. You can use whole milk if you'd like, um, that's perfectly fine. Next, what you wanna do is add an extra egg. So if the box calls for three eggs, I'm adding one more. And again, that's just gonna amp up that richness and that nice you know, moisture to that cake. And again, I'm mixing it all in, just as you would make your normal box cake. The next thing that you wanna do is use butter instead of oil. Oil is not gonna make your, taste, your cake taste good. So I am using a softened one stick of butter, mix it all in. And the last hack, and this one goes for a lot of different things, you wanna add some extra flavorings. So I'm using some vanilla extract and it's about one tablespoon. And I'm also going to use some fresh lemon zest. And again, lemon is a great trick to kind of brighten up your recipes. So I'm just gonna zest about half a lemon. You don't have to be too exact, it's all good. Yes, it and is. Basically, okay. it is. That's, that's really all it takes to take box cake mix to the next level. So obviously, um, this is going to go into a couple different pans so that I can make my, um, my cake. And here's the deal. I'm using some small pans. You can use a 9 by 13. You can use an 8 inch, 9 inch. It really doesn't matter because you're going to cut this all up into, um, into the trifles. So that's the beauty of this recipe. You don't have to be too exact about it. So once I have my cake, we're going to have the magic of television, right? Uh, now I have my... <laughs> now I have my buttery cake all cut up into nice bite-sized pieces. And uh, I'm going to take a mason jar because obviously this one's already made. So you can make these individually for your friends and family, drop them off, bring them a little holiday cheer. You know, that's always a good thing. And here's the deal. Super easy. All I'm doing is adding some cake. And then I'm gonna add some of my frozen blueberry compote. And as I said, one of the key tricks to take uh, your frozen blueberries or any kind of berry is add a little lemon zest. And I also added some ginger. So here you have blueberries. Next, I'm gonna add vanilla pudding. And uh, again, here I've added some vanilla extract. That's another great trick. Uh, so again, I'm using instant pudding, really easy. I'm using some TG Lee 2% milk in this as well. That gives it that nice richness. And, uh, and then I'm adding some uh, vanilla extract. Wait, 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 wait. La Christina, this is all in the same recipe? Yeah. Oh so my I, got, I got vanilla pudding, I got some cake, and next I'm gonna add some fresh berries. So again, you know, here I have uh, some blueberries, some strawberries, uh, basically, you know, you can, you can just add whatever, whatever berries you like. What's the name of the dessert again? Uh, this is a berries and cream holiday trifle. Awesome. Well, local and lifestyle expert, Christina Thomas, we thank you so much because we all love hacks and tips and tricks when it comes to making things easier, especially during the holiday season. We'll be sure to put all of this information on firstcoastliving.net.